One of the most important things in Magic the Gathering strategy is being able to change gears based on what's important in the game at any given time. Today, we're going to go over a very interesting game I played in last weekend's qualifier where I had to do that multiple times. The format is Explore. It's game three against Mono Green Aggro. I'm playing Rakdos Midrange. Here's my post war configuration. Let's get right into the game. Game three on the draw against Never Lucky. And every any loss here is devastating. You gotta get seven wins before before two losses. So open up a hand that looks okay, but it's pretty freaking bad. Um Grasp is great. The Massacre is more of a late game play. You don't even have double black. And then we're on the draw with two Chandras. These Chandras are never gonna live ever. These Chandras are basically just four mana sorcery, deal four to a creature. So terrible hand, despite having three lands and four spells. Uh got a Mulligan, so you cannot keep his hand ever. Uh on the play, I think it would be a little bit closer, but still bad. So Mulligan to a great one. Uh, fantastic hand here. Uh, Bone Crusher, Fable, Chandra. We can go Stomp into Giant or Fable into Chandra. And they play a turn one Shaper's Sanctuary. So real fast, if you don't know what this card does, one mana enchantment. Whenever a creature you control becomes target of a spell or ability, very important, an opponent controls, you may draw a card. So this is a devastating card against any sort of deck like ours because it ev turns every kill spell into a two for one for our opponent. So Right off the bat, we're behind her. We mulliganed, and our opponent plays turn one Sanctuary, which is not good. Uh, Stomp, they draw a card. Chandra minus, they draw a card. So, Fatal Push, they draw a card. So, lots of battle through now. Lots of battle through. Sanctuary is really good against spot removal, and very bad against mass removal and blockers. But right now, our deck is so spot removal heavy that we're going to be in trouble here. We have one mass removal spell in the Meetup Massacre. We have blockers, but not a ton. So, they play Old Growth Troll. We're going to play our Fable. And uh, we do have Fable plus Push, which is really, really good, obviously. The Goblin can make the Trish Push thing. They get in for four. And... Tap some mana and cast Old Growth Troll again. So, now, if we kill Old Growth Trolls, they not only get to draw, get to draw a card of Sanctuary, but also get more value off it later, which is kind of bad. Uh, so, Fable here. Our hand is Push, Push, Chandra, Bone Crusher, Harvester, Land. I think our hand is actually about as perfect as can be. We're actually going to keep everything. So we have two pushes to buy time. And this is a very, very important game for understanding how the dynamics of a game shift as certain factors come into play. All right. So in this game, going into the game, we're like, okay, kill all their shit. Cool. No problem. Then they play Shaper Sanctuary and that plan doesn't work anymore. Now, if we try and just kill all their things, now they're getting a card every time. We're behind in the exchanges. That's not good. So we need to recognize... What do we need to do to win this game now? Because plan A is not going to work. So what's plan B? Plan B is set up Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Blood Tithe Harvester. And get our engine online, be able to kill things over and over and over again. So every time we copy a Harvester and kill a creature, they draw a card, but we didn't spend a card to do it anyway so that we can get our engine online. So other engine we have is Chandra. If Chandra can keep drawing cards, that's great also. So our goals now for this game are to get Harvester in play active with Fable and get Chandra in play and then we're going to use our kill spells. They're more like bounce spells now than kill spells uh, because they're going to only temporarily buy time. They're not going to be able to one for one our opponent. So we decided we're going to keep everything here. So again, I think his hand is basically perfect. And then Bone Crusher is very good because Bone Crusher just coming into play as a blocker is great. Uh, so Chandra minus target the troll. Step number one here. So why are we doing this? We want to get the board empty so we can execute our plan. Our plan being get Chandra play and play online, get Fable and play online. Tag of the Goblin, say go. Now we have push for Old Growth Troll, right? So they can't kill Chandra. So we get to untap with Chandra, Fable, Goblin, kill spells in hand. They're drawing cards. And unfortunately, the killing the trolls gives them more mana also, which is not ideal. But what can we do? We run a plan now and we got to do it. So they play a land. Four cards in hand. Try and kill Chandra. We fire up our push. Again, they draw a card. Basically an unsummon, you know, essentially. It's kind of like Unsummon Path, I guess, because they have a they get a mana too, but and now they have two, four, five, six, seven mana. Play Steel Leaf Champion. Play Steel Leaf Champion. Okay. That's fine. So flip reflections. Now we've got Fatal Push off our treasure. Or passage. We've got Bone Crusher Giant. We've got Chandra. So crack the passage. We're gonna push one of these champions for sure. The question is how do we deal with the other one? And they have a layer of a hydra also. So you need to be aware of all of these things. So we could fire in the goblin here, try and entice them to block again. We could stomp, that would be excellent. Then I could also cast Bone Crusher to block the lair and have push to kill the stamp champion. So all in all, I think that we got a pretty good setup here. So 
we need to keep this board clear we need to keep chandra in play and get our engine engine set online also so think about it for a while here and here comes the goblin and again this could just look like our goblin trying to make some mana they block really fast stop this thing finish that one off they draw a card sure and now i get to make red red off of chandra cast this uh bone crusher giant and play the harvester and then once again have push up to defend my chandra so plan's working right the plan is working here uh we are getting things in play getting ready to go we've got our reflection plus harvester online we've got chandra online and uh we have bone crusher play a block as well so they play a re resilient kenra pump the Steely champion irrelevant we fatal push it because now we can't block but we can fatal push it which is great so kill this and now we've uh they've drawn a lot of cards the cards right in hand right now are five to zero but we knew that was going to happen you know that was not that's not really a surprise of a stage in the game uh so we've done our job Chandra's online there's a pack leader sure and they're deciding what they want to deploy they also have a, a layer of a hydra they can sack their land to make up the 4-4. Although, realistically, like, we kind of want them to do the up Goro. <laughs> Goro. Um, so, fire up Chandra. What does Chandra give us? Gives us a Harvester. Great. Love it. And again, every time Chandra draws a card, we're now getting parity back into the Sanctuary. So, cast Harvester. Make a second blood. Um, we almost want them to sack their forest to make a 4-4. Because the less mana they have, the harder it is to use all their cards. So, so we uh, target that. They draw a card. Kill that. With our copy which is great uh don't really have any good attacks here uh yeah not really so want to defend our stuff anyway so and say go and again we're sort of turning into this like this weird combo control deck where we're just trying to like reflection copy do this do that kind of thing so looking pretty good Right? Looking pretty good in this, this stage in the game. We got Chandra, we got Harvesters, we can block here. Uh, they can layer of a Hydra, but whatever, it's kind of fine. Uh, so, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We got some Bloods going. They got a 4 4. Again, they still have five cards in their hand. They have layer of a Hydra, so they can apply a little more pressure. Uh, but, kind of think things through here a little bit. A little bit. And they're going to move to combat. Send in the 4-4 at Chandra. So pretty easy block with Bone Crusher here. Then we're also going to block with the Harvester to soak up that one extra point of trample damage. So, oh, we're, we're going to Blood first, sure. Might as well Blood first, get a little, a little more information. We draw another Harvester, sure. Not blooding that. So we don't block here. Again, the extra block is to just soak up the one trample point of trample damage. So trade, trade Bone Crusher for 4-4. That's actually a good trade for us because they didn't draw a card in the exchange finally. So uh, we're happy with that. They play land, four cards in hand. They cast Scavenging Ooze. Um, which could get big, but we have so many bloods now, it doesn't really matter. And it's funny, because now, actually, the fact that we drew Harvester allows us to kill the Ooze. They have an Ooze, and they have five mana. So it could be a 7-7, seven, seven in theory, uh, but the extra blood from the Harvester means we can kill it, which is kind of cool, so. We Chandra, top card's another Chandra, don't want that. Play Harvester, make a blood. Um, important to note that the Harvester ability is Sorcery Speed. So there's no way to like get it in response with the with the ooze. So we gotta kill it, and they, they could have pumped it five times. I mean, at seven seven, we would have been able to kill it. So kind of cool, kind of cool. So they're gonna eat some stuff and just gain some life. Totally fine. They have this Kenra in play. The Kenra has the eternalize ability for six. Where if it dies, it can come back as a four four. Um, for, there you go. See the, the eternalize. Uh, but they eat some cards, gain some life. That's fine. Honestly, this is, this is totally fine for us. We don't like this at all. They probably bore out their fight spells, I would assume, um, because they're just not very good against a deck with, with a thousand kill spells in it. Um, they probably have like two Bastaju to kill Reflection, which is pretty important, but. Can't sack Harvester response. It's Sorcery Speed ability. So. So they make a 4 4. They play the Collector. And now they're going to fire up. They're going to attack my Chandra. Now, we don't block here. And again, blocking is good because we don't have to draw cards off of it. Chandra takes two. We don't really want to kill this Kenra because then it comes back as a 4 4, which is kind of bad. So Chandra goes to two. They play a pack leader. That's fine. Collector goes to a 3 3, which is getting there. They can have trample two and a land roll. So they're getting pretty wide here. They're getting pretty wide. Draw Hive, not ideal. Top card is a Bone Crusher Giant. That's pretty solid. And uh, don't want to stomp here because uh, if I stomp, they draw a card. Just cast Bone Crusher, honestly. Just cast Bone Crusher. 
Oh, have the second one kill it? Oh, uh, sure. You could do that as well. That's fine. That's fine. So we... You're right. You're right. Copy Harvester. Harvester kills Pack Leader. Don't want them drawing any cards, except for the Sanctuary cards, I guess. So kill that. We have the Bone Crusher Giant in play. And now he decided if I want to play this Hive or not. Or I want to blow it. We do have a lot of blood. We do have a lot of blood. So... So there you go. Holding the Hive to blood away. Looking for Glorybringer here. Now they play a second Sanctuary. This is very interesting. So now... Things change once again, right? So this is now the third major shift in this game uh, where they play the second Sanctuary. Now our engine plan doesn't really work anymore because they're drawing two cards every time Harvester kills something. Uh, that's an exchange we can't really deal with anymore, honestly. So now things have shifted to where they have less stuff than us and kind of smaller. Now I need to kill them. Uh, so once again, the game has shifted. Double, double Sanctuary in play. They only have one card left now. So they do have a layer of a Hydra also. But they're going to fire up the layer here. I believe it'll be a 5-5 five, five, and probably go after Chandra. So, but now, because we know the game has shifted because they cast the Shaper Sanctuary, we can change our plan. Let them attack Chandra, tap down their blockers, and then just go after them. Here comes Layer. They send the Lair and the Collector over to the Chandra. We're going to Blood here again for more information pre-blocks. We actually draw Chandra. We actually draw Chandra, uh, but is isn't necessary. So any block here sucks for us. We could block the Harvester or the Bone Crusher on the Pell Collector. Okay, we kind of want to kill it. But again, I think things have changed now. I don't think Chandra's important anymore. And one of the most important things in a game of Magic is figuring out what's important at any given time because the thing, those things shift. So I line up the block here. Then I think about it a little bit more. I'm just like, why am I doing this? I can just attack them. Next one, I can, I can attack for a whole bunch of damage. You know, why bother, essentially, with this uh, Zone Crusher Giant? I also have Trespasser, which I can copy with the Reflection. I can keep eating things and again, draining life and eating things. So, Chandra can go away. Doesn't matter anymore. Draw Harlow's Act. Now, Harlow's Act here is, it's okay, because it can kill a creature like that's in a block. They won't draw two cards off of it, but if we can wait until we're going to actually just kill them, it can be good. It can be good. So, so play Trespasser. And we eat a any creature. They have million, million creatures here. So every creature is one life for us and one life off of them. 17, 17. And now we just go. Now I think we're going to stop copying Harvester because we don't get the cards anymore. And now we're almost outsizing them anyway. And Trespasser is going to be doing a lot of damage as well. So going to fire up here and copy Trespasser. I think I should have blooded first, honestly, with the Chandra uh, to see what we draw. But you eat that and just send. Not because I'm in Harvesters. I don't want to trade one from with the, with, the, with the Kenra. Just going to attack and eat. And this is an attack for seven. This is almost half for life total. So, again, things have shifted. Things have changed. They chump block. Great. Now their board is smaller. They only have one card in hand. And this chump block makes these sanctuaries worthless because they're not doing anything. We're not going to target their crap anymore. So, say go. Now, next turn, we have an active trespasser also. The good news is here, we killed the Kenra. But if they flashback Kenra... They're not going to cast a spell, and Trespasser flips, and now we have two 4-4s four gaining 4 life, dealing 4, which is awesome. So there's Kenra. Pump the Collector. It's going to be a 4-4 four four into an 8-8. Eight eight. And play land, sure. And now what? They get attack for 8? Who cares? You know, now the game has shifted to the point where they're not the aggro deck anymore. Now we're the aggro deck. You know, so with these Sanctuaries drawing so many cards, we recognize that, like, we're not going to win the card game anymore. So we'll just win the, win, win the beatdown game. So Collector's here is an 8-8. Eight eight. It feels bad to not, not sit with your 8-8, so it's going to come in, but I think it does at least. Yeah, so here's the 8-8, whatever, take 8, no problem. So, take 8, blood this Chandra away, because Chandra has almost no purpose here, I think. I think we do. I think we blood away Chandra. Chandra really, what's Chandra going to do, you know? Do a little math here. First time I read that follow button again, my name is Jim Davis. I'm going over, going over, going over my two, two matches I, I played from the uh, qualifier yesterday. And uh, this is a really, really interesting match. So, start blooding. Glory going to be pretty good also. Chandra can remove a blocker, but we already have Heartless Act to do that. And Chandra's very, very, very clunky to do that. So, blood Chandra away, draw Stomp. Stomp's great. Goes to Knight. That's great. And now, things look awesome. We just copy Glutton. Eat two things to get drained two life. Send in Glutton, Glutton, Bone Crusher, Harvester. Eat four things, gain four life. Harlow's Act the 4-4, four, four, stomp their face. And they're dead. So, 
definitely like a lot of things we could do here. We could stomp the elves, but they have layer of a hydra to block with, so I don't, I don't necessarily want to do that. We could uh, we could do a few different things here, but regardless. So glutton eats two things. Great. They got a ten. I gotta keep like, should I stop this? Maybe not. Just harvest that, kill the 4 4, tag with everything, and they're just dead. So kill this. They get to draw two cards, but they're dead. So, best card advantage is, of course, uh, is of course your opponent's got cards in hand, and they're dead and can't cast them. So, Walder, new sub, what's your name? Where are you from? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Here come the attacks. Eat the, uh, eat my own harvesters, and then eat, uh, eat their stuffs. Only three damage, I guess, but. They go to seven, and they have one blocker. We have a stomp, and they are dead. So, crazy game. I think this game was a really... Keep the change, you filthy animal. I think this game was a really, really good example of uh, of how plans change in a game of Magic. Uh, because I think we did a really good job that game of going with the flow, having a plan, a thing happened, change it, Go with the plan. Something else happens. Change it. Being able to be dynamic as the game goes on. And even when your opponent puts a good, puts a good card against you, you still figure out what to do. What to do. So, uh, that's that game. That's, that's, my, that's my replays. So, YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Bob Bond is coming up on stream. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.